Hello there, my Sagittarius Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, Sagittarius. You got the Page of Swords here. So, what's this about? Set that Page of Swords aside there. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. Three of Wands to the Six of Swords to the Knight of Wands. Oh, wow. A lot of transformation energy with you. But, damn. Some of you, this is almost a, a sort of a change of direction, change of thought. A uh, different sort of vibe in there. Of course, you always get this sort of Crosswatcher energy there. Sagittarius. Over the Crosswatcher is the Queen of Wands. So you're definitely doing your own thing, focusing on what's important to you. There's the Chariot energy. There's the Six of Wands. Oh, there's the Knight of Cups. Oh, look at this. Some of y'all, be mindful of those relationships or partnerships. So this is like a passionate energy. Uh, very focused Then that emotional energy here. So, damn. Between the Knight of Wands there and then... Oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Those of you with regard to relationships or partnerships. Wow. Oh. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. You're in Six of Swords. Someone else over here is in Six of Wands. The Knight of Cups. There with the Knight of Wands. So, is it time for that relationship or partnership? Or should you stay focused more on what's important to you? I feel like your intuition and your instincts are on point here. But, uh, you've had an interesting sort of vibe here. So I feel like you've been on this journey for a while. Someone else over here is just sort of, eh. This is rather wishy-washy. Uh, this is a very wishy-washy energy. It's a, it's a cross-watcher vibe. So I don't know if you're cross-watching. You've got a lot of cross-watchers. Uh, Sagittarius. Whatever the hell this energy is. What's the Will of Fortune? That's way too many. Come on. So now's not the time to complicate things, Sagittarius. So be mindful of that, that will of fortune. Someone could be rather emotionally sort of distant or emotionally withholding or not. Uh, they're not really present with the sort of emotional connections that some of you are interested in. This is a person that's always going to focus on them. Over here, I feel like this is more, it's more of a broader sort of vibe when it comes to you. So, mm. some of you, look at that. Between that, you got the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Wands, the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Swords. So, sweet Jesus. I feel like you're far more intellectual here. Some of you, you're far more centered and focused, which brings about like better opportunities with you versus a uh, relationship or partnership over here where something is definitely way too sort of, uh, uh, it's almost like way too fast. It's way too fast. You got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords, so I feel like you're far more uh, capable here of making smarter decisions. Oh my god, the Aries energy with you there with that world card. Uh, work, love, life vibes on this. So, I have for fuck's sake. This is like all about Eve vibes. Some of you, this could be a spiritual sort of uh, journey that you're on as well. So, mm. what the, your energy, some of you need to simplify something to the point that brings far more healing and far more focus back on you instead of all this sort of secondary energy with you. The three of cups is in the three of swords. 
So a lot of you have those relationships or partnerships that really you're not, you don't want the same things, whether whatever type of relationship or partnership that is when it comes to you. You're, you're on like uh, two different sort of vibes. Uh, the expectations are different. Some of you, the relationships or partnerships are even different. Everything about this is like different. Um, I feel like you're far more simplistic versus something that's way too overly done or way too, what's the, what's the word on that? It's kind of the difference between handmade and sort of mass produced. So your uniqueness, your sort of uh, whatever this sort of energy is that you're in is is far different. It's 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 not as complicated for some of you as this sort of overly manufactured uh, type of vibe here. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, Sagittarius. You and that Aries energy. So some of you, this is like uh, Aries, Aquarius. Uh, you got Cancer energy there. Oh, Lord have mercy. It's okay to be different. It's okay to be unique. It's okay. For some of you, you need to sort of simplify it. You need to pull your energy back. You got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Swords. So there's a simplicity moving forward with you. Versus something that's just, there's way too much. There's way too much and it doesn't really end in a, like sort of happiness. Um, you've had to learn a lot here, which for a lot of you is more hands-on. It's more like life sort of experiences versus some of y'all this, uh, it's almost like something is just way too much. It's like way too much. Uh, that's the sort of distinction between uh, this sort of energy with you, Sagittarius. Some of you need to focus more on like, uh, the simple sort of basics of something. So this is almost going back, relearning, uh, refocusing on what you need to. It's a far more simplistic approach versus uh, this overly complicated energy. So I... Uh, take what's yours and leave what's not here, uh, Sagittarius, because this doesn't really bring happiness in. This is a far more, uh, what do you want to call it? It's far more of a grounded type energy. Some of you need to uh, maybe take some time, focus on what's more important to you now. Some of y'all taking it back to the basics. Uh, so this is a good retreat energy with you. This is a good get back to nature. Some of y'all going back to the basics instead of th this way too overly complicated energy. You're always the focus, but you don't need like all the sort of uh, uh, energy around you. So you're just as happy. It's almost that energy of like Amish vibes. So you don't have all that sort of secondary, unnecessary type uh, uh, information and sort of growth when it comes to you versus something that's just it's way too commercialized or way too overly processed, way too done. So it's almost like a cleansing energy with you, but it's a, a simplification when it comes to you as well. Where's your where are you at when it comes to body positivity, Sagittarius? There with that Aquarius star. There's really almost no comparison vibes when it comes to this as well. So for fuck's sake, Sagittarius. Magician, the moon, and the ten of pentacles. You achieve far more with less than someone with maybe with more, but it creates more of that sort of work energy there with the Ten of Wands. So, you know what I mean with this uh, Sagittarius?
This is almost that energy of you don't need to uh, uh, have a degree in order to like write a book or do something. It helps. But some of you, the simplistic sort of vibe when it comes to you is what makes the difference here. So some of y'all keeping it simple and basic and sort of uncluttered versus this overly sort of uh, done energy. You're attracting attention. Of course, you had that page of swords. But you don't need all that sort of... Well, you definitely don't have a cheerleading squad. You don't have a whole lot of people sort of supporting and promoting you. But at the same time, you really don't need that. Especially if you're far more focused on what is important to you. This is wanting to get messy, but it really shouldn't be. So some of y'all need to uncomplicate something. Or not let it be so overwhelming. A lot of this is going to be how you feel about yourself. Body positivity moving forward. That Aquarius vibe... Uh, you had, uh, Aries energy, Cancer energy, you got Pisces energy here. Um, so do watch your favorite astrologer. So astrologically, this could be kind of different for you. Don't let your emotions overwhelm you because you have the Ace of Wands there with the Ace of, uh, Swords. So... Damn Sagittarius, I mean, for fuck's sake. Some of you manifesting, like, great ideas, great opportunities, but you don't, don't overcomplicate it. Some of you, that, that's kind of the whole vibe with this. So, uh, take your time with something. Do some healing work. Maybe some of y'all get back to nature. Spend some time outside. Maybe do some chakra alignment. Uh, what's your body positivity? Where are you at when it comes to how you feel about yourself? Some of y'all focus more on that. Less on the, the sort of comparison vibes. So those of you Sagittarius is this. Stay stuck in that energy. You need to, <laughs> you need to kind of let go of that. Especially if you're manifesting. Because, damn... Some of you, it doesn't need to be that complicated. So don't overwhelm yourself and be mindful with the, the world vibes there uh, as well. So what's this Aquarius vibe with regard to Sagittarius? Trusting your instinct. This is like really good body positivity as well. Some of you just keep it. It's almost like simple and basic. So some of y'all maybe uh, detox, get away from your electronics, take some time for yourself. Don't overwhelm yourself because you really don't need all that. Some of y'all, it's way too much sort of external energy that isn't really going to be very positive for you. A lot of body positivity on this. So feeling good about yourself. Some of y'all trusting your instincts. This could be interesting astrologically for you as well. So, what, who or what's your focus? It's a very fertile energy and a very creative energy with you. But don't don't fucking overcomplicate something because you don't you don't need it. Um, you don't need the hype energy as well. So what's what's your sort of focus here, especially when it comes to like body positivity, how you feel about yourself? You like don't have to do the most in order to get like uh, uh, positive results here with you. Quit being so judgmental on yourself either. Oh. There's that Ten of Cups. Some of y'all messy relationships or partnerships. Uh, with the world vibes there, the Three of Cups there with the Three of Swords. And then you got that Ten of Cups. So, mm. So you're going back to like the basics. This is a, oh, damn.
Now's not the time to overcomplicate something. Sagittarius, that, that's kind of like the basics of this. So some of you, body positivity, focus, healthier energy when it comes to you. Uh, optimism, most definitely optimism when it comes to you. Don't feel like you're limited because some of you, you're really not. So how you kind of view things, how you're looking at things is really uh, what's important to you. And you had cross-watcher energy, so damn Sagittarius, you're attracting attention. But you don't need like all the all that sort of all that sort of secondary energy. So more body positivity, more forward thinking energy with you. And that switches it up. There's almost that energy of keeping it the 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 less overly done it is like the better. So some of you could be maybe you're wearing less makeup, you're feeling far more. This is like really good body positivity. So hopefully you're feeling good about yourself. You could be eating better. Some of y'all may be drinking more water. You could be focusing on what's far more important to you that isn't about uh you're more like there and you're not like uh there's like no filters on this. It's, it's a very simple approach. It's a very simple sort of energy that you're in versus uh, some of you that overly complicated. So simplify, simplify, simplify and body positivity with you. Some of you, when it comes to whatever the fuck that ton of cups is, uh, relationships or partnerships. It's not like an organicness, but it's kind of like an organicness. But it, it's, it's, there's the five of wands. But it's like Ivy League energy. So if this is work when it comes to you, just stay focused on like what you know, focus on like uh, the basics here and beautiful body positivity with you. So it, sh it shouldn't be that complicated. I know Sagittarius, that's what it comes down to, but focusing on what's far more important to you. Very relaxed energy. So. Definitely be mindful of the body positivity. You are beautiful the way you are. Flaws and all. So don't let that distract you, Sagittarius. A lot of competitive energy. Oh, look, I love the fact that uh, your opposite on the Zodiac come out. Gemini is. So I feel like this brings about an upgrade with you. Very unfiltered. This is a, <laughs> it's a very beautiful energy with you, Sagittarius. But damn, you don't need a whole lot. So where's the body positivity? Some of y'all definitely be mindful of that. Make sure you're being very optimistic. You feel good. I don't know that this is like a cleansing energy with you as much as just sort of uh, confidence. Do watch your favorite astrologer, uh, Sagittarius. I mean, this could definitely be astrological with you. There's the King of Wands. There's the Four of Cups. Be mindful of that comparison energy because, damn, everyone's got choices. Everyone's got options, right? There's the Four of Pentacles, grounded in focus. Some of y'all chakra work. Some of y'all could be doing some Reiki. Crown chakra, heart chakra, and uh, root chakra. There's the seven of swords. See, I feel like you, you've had to learn like the, the, the hard way. Whatever this sort of journey has been with you, you've kind of been in it. So that's what makes the difference with you. Your decision making is far more interesting than uh, someone else. There's like, fuck the comparison energy too. So some of you quit, so fuck that comparison vibe. Everyone's got choices, everyone's got options, right? Queen of Cups, there's the Nine of Pentacles, there's the Seven of Pentacles, there's the Seven of Cups. Sweet Jesus, look at that. And there's the King of Swords energy. Oh, wow.
Ugh. So you see the King of Wands? There's the King of Cups, or Queen of Cups, and there's the King of Swords. So, some of you, this is like, fuck that comparison energy with you. Because you're the one that's actually far worth more of the time, energy, and attention. Because you, you're like doing the work. It's far more focused with you. Very optimistic too. So, body positivity with you and optimism moving forward. So, I don't feel like you've really put much time, energy, attention, or effort when it comes to relationships or partnerships. And that really does make the difference with you. You are definitely different. You are definitely unique. So, yeah, keep that energy in mind. Don't limit yourself by not believing in yourself. So, some of you could definitely be getting a lot of critiques. Pay that shit no mind. Because you got there the hard way. So a lot of street smarts with you. A lot of uh, learning, growing, understanding. You avoid that five of swords energy with you. Hopefully you're reading a lot or you're... Uh, be mindful of the media that you are consuming. So that way it stays positive. A lot of you body positivity with you as well. So some of y'all need to fuck the comparison energy. Uh, it's okay to be unique and it's okay to sort of do your own thing. Because some of you, that's what sets you apart. Everyone's got choices. Everyone's got options. But you kind of change the whole dynamic of something. So this is definitely understanding your value and understanding your worth, Sagittarius. This is not fucking easy. Uh, so you need to <laughs> make sure you're doing the clearing work. Stay focused and grounded. Don't let your emotions overwhelm you as well right now fuck the comparison energy so some of you just got to learn to do your best be optimistic uh th this is like performers right you put a smile on your face and be happy definitely with the body positivity so i don't know who needs to know that you're beautiful the way you are your uniqueness is there for a reason so allow it and it, it's a judgmental energy, but this shouldn't be overwhelming to you. Oh, Lord have mercy, Sagittarius. <sighs> King of Cups, Ten of Swords, there's the Scorpio vibe. Mm. If you got strong Scorpio placement in your chart, some of you that sort of the, the stuck energy with you. You're definitely different and unique. You're meant to stand out, but damn, you got to sort of figure that out for yourself. So this is definitely a lot of body positivity. So Lord have mercy. There is that comparison vibe, but that's sort of life. Don't be so harsh on yourself. Do you watch your favorite astrologer? Uh, some of y'all, this is, if this is like a work opportunity, work, I mean, work, love, life, whatever the hell this is, right? Uh, don't allow yourself to be so overwhelmed that you get focused on like negative, uh, the negative self-talk with you. You need to make sure that you're always body positivity, positivity moving forward. Oh, King of Wands, King of Cups, King of Swords. Uh, so damn, whatever the hell that energy is, don't expect a lot of sort of positive feedback. So if you need all that sort of positive feedback energy, Sagittarius, some of y'all need to sort of figure that out for yourself. You change the dynamics up of something with just being your simple sort of self here. So. You can be your own worst critic. So, don't. There's enough people that's going to want to critique you. This is life energy too. So, work opportunities with you. Life opportunities. I don't see a lot of like... Some of y'all, this sort of cups energy with you. If you're dating, it's, it's kind of like that energy as well. 
I feel like you need to kind of pull your energy back and focus more on you. You don't need all the, the sort of hype energy. You don't need all that hype energy. This is kind of whistle while you work. This is a uh, body positivity. So <laughs> hopefully you're listening to some good music or uh, whatever sort of media that you partake in. You're looking at like the positive sort of uplifting energy. And that makes all the difference with you. Oh, wow. If you don't, if you don't know your value or worth, definitely other people do. But there's, it's that sort of simple vibes with you that makes all the difference. So someone could be trying to make things far more complicated for you than they need to be just to sort of make you feel like you are lacking. Uh, you're not. So stay focused on what's important to you. Trusting your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. If this is whatever sort of opportunity this is with you, I feel like you look at it from a different perspective. You definitely bring something different uh, into the sort of equation here. So... Uh, your uniqueness is what sets you the fuck apart. So allow your uniqueness to be your uniqueness. Um, because yeah, you could have some harsh critics, but that's life. Uh, and depending upon whatever the fuck uh, you do, it just sort of is what it is. So thicker skin, but more body positivity with you. I know you're, si you're sick of hearing that, Sagittarius, but some of you, you need to, don't be so hard on yourself. Uh, there's plenty of other people that want to do that for you. Especially if this is sort of the vibe that you're in. Some y'all, it's a, it's a competitive world out there. So take what's yours and leave what's not. What's with the Piscean energy? Do watch your favorite astrologer. This could definitely be astrological with you. What a, maybe how-tos when it comes to you. Uh, Sagittarius. If you get the chance to sort of get out and kind of uh, relax, uh, almost declutter your energy, all comes down to this Aries vibe. So some of you are being looked at for promotion energy here, but damn, once you're in that sort of emperor energy, it's a whole different sort of vibe. Oh, on top of all that, there's the King of Pentacles. So, sweet Jesus. You've had all four kings. So, and then you pull this emperor energy. Some of you haven't met that sort of emperor, empress type vibe. Uh, so, this brings about an interesting sort of growth uh, opportunity with you. Someone definitely knows that you're really good. But they don't want you to know that you're really good. So, super critical uh sort of uh energy here so fuck the criticism sagittarius don't limit yourself either because what you lack in one area you more than make up for in others so that's what really makes the difference with you body positivity so you need to stay optimistic you need to stay optimistic Because there's the Empress energy. Then you got the Empress Nine of Swords there. <laughs> so some of you are definitely being uh, looked at for opportunities that others aren't. So, damn, don't be so harsh on yourself. Because some of you, you can be your own worst fucking critic. And you don't need that energy right now. Fuck the comparison energy. So it is what it is. Life's competitive. But, damn... You don't, you don't need all that. I know it's like the same thing, Sagittarius, but something is way too complicated. Don't, don't go into that energy. You don't need it. You need more of a simplification. Uh, it's not like all the, you don't need all the uh, sort of accoutrements to something. Keeping it nice, simple, and basic is what works for you. That's what sets you apart as well. Definitely a lot of body positivity. 
So whatever sort of uh, opportunities that you have, it's it's going to be relatively important that you're able to maintain good sort of body, uh, body positivity, feeling good about yourself, understanding, definitely understanding your value and your worth, because damn, you're about to get that upgrade and uh, not everyone's going to like that. So there's something about you that's definitely unique and different and uh, not as complicated. So I don't feel like you're such a messy energy as some of you as maybe some of the other sort of uh, opportunities uh, when it comes to this sort of opportunity with you. So avoid the messy energy and you're going to be just fine. Definitely body positivity with you. Seven of Swords. So, street smart and wise. Whatever the fuck this is. Sagittarius, for some of you, this is so complicated and so layered. So some of you sort of moving through that energy, releasing what you don't need and kind of focusing, a lot of reinforcing positive sort of... Uh, uh, energy when it comes to you instead of staying stuck or stagnant uh the comparison energy is like who the fuck cares who or what are you being compared to and some of y'all it's like it, it's two different things any fucking way uh with the hierophant energy if you're going through something on a religious uh level uh here sagittarius is some of you it's decision making time for you Whoever's judging you isn't really, like, the best sort of examples of that. I mean, there's one thing for criticism, and then there's something else to just... There's not a real happy energy here. So, uh, it's, it's imperative that you stay focused on the happiness. Because you definitely changed the whole fucking equation on something. Take what's yours, leave what's not. If anything, body positivity with you. Love yourself, be happy with yourself. Definitely far more uh, optimistic energy when it comes to you, Sagittarius. And fuck the critics, fuck the critiques. This is whatever the hell this is. A lot of interviewings. If it's dates with you, right? Allow your sort of natural you to come through. Because some of you, all that secondary energy, there's not a whole lot of happiness in that. Uh, so way too much smoke and mirror vibes. Versus you who are like this sort of uh, change of energy, change of pace, change of opportunity. Especially if you're wanting that upgrade. Good luck, God bless, take what's yours, and leave what's not Sagittarius. I, you don't need this messy energy. Peace, love, and light. Like, share, subscribe.